Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. May 21st, William Farrell. Farrell was a man of intense courage, boldness, and fearlessness, and he eventually became a significant figure in the Protestant Reformation of the 16th century. He started out as a pro-reform Catholic preacher, but the Catholic efforts were too slow for Farrell. He moved from France to Switzerland, where he encountered many leaders of the Reformation, including Martin Luther. In Switzerland, Farrell traveled from town to town and spread Protestant ideas. Sometimes he was successful, other times not so much. While in Geneva, he was beaten and shot at, and Genevan authorities kicked him out of the city several times. Because of widespread immorality in Geneva, one Easter Sunday, Farrell refused to serve communion. But he persevered in reaching out to the people, and on this date in 1536, Farrell brought the Reformation to Geneva. Together with John Calvin, another Frenchman, Farrell continued to work in Geneva until both of them were expelled in 1538. Here is his story. Any truth worth believing is a truth worth defending. William Farrell was a wanted man, and under a false name, he was hiding in Switzerland. Quietly, one person at a time, he told the truth about Jesus, and he helped people connect with the all-powerful Savior. Eventually, Farrell took his own name back, and he went public. He had taken the tower. Next, he would take the town. He ascended the pulpit and openly preached Jesus Christ to the astonished multitude. The bold, ginger-bearded preacher had one passion, teaching the Word of God in a way ordinary people could understand. But the local religious leaders feared his teaching, saying, if this man continues preaching, it is all over for our church. So they set themselves against him. Days later, from a pulpit in a neighboring town, a local monk shouted to the villagers about Farrell. It is the devil himself who preaches by the mouth of this minister, and all those who listen to him will be damned. Convenient for the monk, Farrell had missed that sermon. Then the monk rushed from the scene focused on his next item of church business. It was his job to accept the donation of a few barrels of the best wine in Switzerland on behalf of his religious community. But when he got there, the monk unexpectedly came upon Farrell. Did you preach against me at Noville, saying that the devil spoke through me? asked Farrell. The monk leaned in and whispered that he had. Calmly, Farrell asked whether the friar believed it was possible for the devil to preach the gospel and if the people who heard it could somehow be damned for listening. Flustered, the friar raised his voice and said that notion was absurd. Farrell got louder. Then why have you publicly spoken against me in such terms? He said, I would rather die than teach false doctrine to the poor people whom Christ has redeemed by his blood. The friar said that he had heard Farrell was a heretic who led people astray, and he turned to walk away. But Farrell wasn't done and followed him. Their argument went on longer, and their voices grew louder and louder, and the crowd around them got bigger and bigger. Farrell gestured toward the monk. You see this fine father, Farrell said to the crowd. He has said from the pulpit that I preach nothing but lies and that you will perish if you listen to me. Now the monk was furious. He denied he had ever spoken a word against Farrell. In a fit of rage, he whipped the hat off his head and stomped on it. With each fevered step, dirt and debris flew. Right about then, a Roman magistrate arrived on the scene and hauled the two preachers off to jail because they were causing a disturbance. A hearing at the castle court was scheduled. When Farrell arrived at the court, the friar was already standing before the judges. 
and the court asked Farrell to speak about the friar's accusations. Let him make good his charges, Farrell said, or if he cannot, let the people hear the gospel. The friar fell to his knees before the court and Farrell, and he begged forgiveness for his slanderous words. My friend and brother, Farrell said, do not ask forgiveness of me, for I am a poor sinner like other men. Ask pardon of our Savior. Then Farrell begged the court to show mercy. The gospel had been defended, and that was all that Farrell really wanted, for the people of French Switzerland to have the word of God. Jude 1.3 says, Contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. How is God leading you to speak the truth of his word in love, even if it brings persecution? Any truth worth believing is a truth worth defending. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.